I remember going to your mom's and you said to your mom, I'm going to marry her. And I was like, okay, we've only just, like, <laughs> literally <we're> met. <laughs> Well, how we first met was um, up at uh, UCLan Library. Um, I, Grace and I spent most of our time studying up there, and uh, I saw Grace a couple of times, and I did a little bit of a creep on Facebook, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. So I sent her a message asking if she wanted to go for a drink sometime, and thankfully you said yes. Yes. The rest is history. <laughs> so uh, when I was working for the university after I graduated my course, um, a few of my friends were also part of the acting course, um, which I was on. I needed some voice yeah. actors for uh, little bits of animations that we were trying to do for some of the students. So the students come to me and then I find the actors. And then because yeah. I knew some of them, I met Joel through them. And then after that, we started messaging each other online. Yeah, we started talking online for a bit, and then we went for our uh, first date at Source. So basically, when you're a first year actor, you all go on this big walk in, what was the woods called, do you remember? I can't remember. Um, no, Riving, was it Rivington Pie? And you basically go on this big walk. It's kind of like a, um, a bonding kind of experience. And I met Artie, and I remember just like, <laughs> it's a bit cheesy, but like the sunlight was like on her face, and I was just like, ah, oh, she, she's quite pretty. We met outside for the first time after a night out at 53 degrees at Promo and then we actually bumped into each other outside a takeaway called Pizza Express. No, no, Pizza City. Pizza City, yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah. <laughs> Not as posh as Pizza Express. So I feel like it was destiny, like we kept bumping into each other until you finally asked for my number. <laughs> well, all good love stories start with pizza, so. There's literally three years worth of memories. Yeah, I'd say like my favourite memory are sort of all of our times in media factory, yeah. just like what we're doing, singing, rehearsing, watching films. I was doing my second year show and we hadn't been together that long at all and it was still new and it just, uh, you came to watch it and really liked it and it just meant a lot to me that you came and watched it and enjoyed it and it just meant a lot to me, it was really nice. <laughs> Probably just the nights out, the, the mates that you that you make along the way, obviously a best mate for life as well. Because you had your own place in in Hulls, that was quite nice for me to, because I was living at home at the time through my university years, and it meant that I could have a little place in Preston to stay after night, nights out and all that kind of thing. Um, so that was quite nice watching, what was it that we, um, 20, 24? Oh yeah, 24. Oh yeah, we used you to binge watch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we can't do anymore because we've got children. <laughs> You'd probably say proofreading your work, because that's what <laughs> yeah. I ever used to do. Uh, at the, uh, Just chilling in the library. <laughs> the library was awesome though, wasn't it? <laughs> what piece of advice would we give <laughs> so we could write a book for sort of sort of like a longer relationship or a way to not kill the person you're with is to enjoy all their funny little habits just communicate with one any uh, one another i think it is a bit cliche to say that yeah. but it is like imperative <laughs> yeah, yeah i think it's imperative you listen to one another we need to honor and respect each other's beliefs and who we are I'm not sure how to follow that but yeah i agree <laughs> <laughs>